not very good. <laughs> I just enjoy playing. And I was shaking like this when I first was doing it. Hayson's a 58-year-old man who's been having trouble with tremor for at least 10 years. Um, he's tried four different medications and none of them have, have helped. And it's gotten to the point where he's unable to work, he's unable to enjoy uh, some of his hobbies, such as shooting pool. Come on, get in there. There's anything that requires use of his hands, it, the tremor, it just amplifies the tremor, aggravates it. It's made it real hard for me to handle even drinking a um, pop or a water or anything like that because my hand shakes real bad and I just I don't have the strength to hold on to anything. Sometimes I gotta use both hands to drink. For like three years I went to IU um, University and they would have me like do draw circles with my hands to see how bad they were. And it seemed like every year it was getting worse. So they said, well, we got a new procedure coming up where they can do lasers and do one side at a time. And I said, well, I'll try that. Technically, it would be called a thalamotomy, which and then technically that, that would mean making a cut in the thalamus. So of course, the thalamus is a, like a big relay station for the entire brain. Every, every nerve function except for a sense of smell runs through the thalamus. Um, and uh, so it's making a cut, it's a lesion, it's just, we're, we're destroying these cells in the thalamus. And that leads to tremor relief. And of course we want the, the this area of destruction to be very focused, very limited, so it's only those cells and none of the, the, well, the, the, the important functioning cells around it. Before, before the day of this procedure, um, he had a special MRI scan that was loaded into our, a planning computer. I sat down at the computer and I looked at his internal landmarks. We're treating the right side of his brain to help his left hand get better. So how far to the right of midline, and then um, how far front to back, how far up and down based on those internal landmarks. On the day of the procedure, he has this metal frame attached to his head that, that helps to keep, the, keep his head immobilized. So that way, when he's in the table, his head's not gonna move, the target's not going to move. And then um, we go through some preliminary scans to make sure that the that these elements are sending their ultrasonic waves to the point where we want them to. That's the, that's the first step. Next step is a kind of verification process where we turn the, the temperature or the energy up a little bit more so it reaches a temperature between say 45 and 50 degrees, degrees Celsius, like 122 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's gonna, that would, for just a few seconds, that's gonna put some nerve cells to sleep. And then we can see, is, is the tremor get better? And does he notice any numbness, any weakness, any slurred speech, anything like that. Um, and what we saw in him is we saw some reduction of the tremor, no side effects, so then we could turn the heat up, turn the energy up a little bit more to create more heat in the brain and um, to actually just create the lesion. The lesion is a generic term for just destroying tissue or an abnormal tissue. And we would go in and check him each time after each, call it sonication. So we do a, a little bit higher power now. We're going to do some things that might change your tremor a little bit. Okay. Yeah, from what I understand, they shoot lasers in there and they turn it, the doctor will turn it up little by little, and then I gotta sit here and make circles until my circles are good enough not to shake, and then he'll stop the procedure. We put our finger in front of his face and have him touch his nose, touch his finger, move it around like that, uh, try to copy a spiral diagram and sign his name. And we saw improvement in those. Surgeons get a lot of credit for this sort of thing, but it's really I mean, the physicists and engineers who come up with these things, and the MRI technology, to be able to measure the temperature of the brain tissue in a patient in real time based on MRI pictures, that's, that's incredible. I was very satisfied. I mean, I think his tremor was, I mean, he may have had just a tiny trace of it at the end and didn't report any side effects. So the bottom line is that success is, is the patient happy with it? Can they, can they drink a cup of coffee? Um, can they write their name? I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect penmanship, but if they can write their name legibly, that's, if there's, if there's five percent tremor left, that's, they're happy, they're thrilled with it. This first time I'm gonna be doing it since my operation. <laughs> now I could, I, I could do more with my left hand because it was, I was always shaking real bad. And um, now it's more steady. Mm -hmm.